Dragon Hill here, and welcome to Hammer Time Source SDK Tutorials. Today we will be attempting to instance a prefab by making the instance itself a prefab, and well, it gets a little crazy. But let's just see what we're gonna what we can accomplish here in the next few minutes. Uh, right now, I just have a brush that forms a floor, just for reference purposes. And over here, I'm gonna select the Entity tool and go over here to entities and uh, type in uh, instance, there we go, funk instance, we're going to select that and we're going to turn around and just put this right in the center and now I'm going to turn around and call up the uh, properties box and what we're going to do here is we're going to have this instance reference uh, a file, a, a, a map, or put this way, some doors we're going to make another map so, I'm just going to call this insta and then door. Uh ah, got VMF. Go ahead and hit apply. Um, and I believe that's all we need for this. Yes, okay. Um, now, at this point, uh, we can uh, close this off. And we're going to turn around and we're going to turn this into a prefab. So, let's go over here and let's center this entity up on the side view, once again center. This will help uh, us place our items in our maps uh, more intuitively by just clicking on the floor and they should floor themselves automatically. Let's go over here and hit uh, create prefab and here we're going to turn around and I've already done this once before just to verify I can do it. So I'm going to do that. So basically from your purposes you can just type in instador.vmf and hit save. And of course, uh, when you're done, you can turn and verify that it's uh, you cr the prefab correctly uh, was created by hitting Entity Tool. Then go to your prefabs, and you should have Instador show up. So uh, right now uh, we don't. Oh, that was bad. Let's undo. Yes. There we go. So let's go. Uh, and select our entity, our funk uh, instance, and then uh, delete that. What we want to do now is we want to make the doors that that instance is going to reference. So first thing we do is go over here to browse, and let's pick. Uh, I'll, I've got this nice cobblestone. Use this first nice uh, door. Hit our uh, brush tool or block tool, and uh, go ahead and let's form up. Uh, a door. Let's do that. Let's make a door. Um, 128, 192. Let's bring this in a bit. It's a little too thick for my liking. Let's do that. There we go. 32 by 192 high, 256. Maybe we can just bring that in just a little bit. Oh, there. I like that. That'll. Actually, no, let's do this. Yes, there we go. I like that. Hit enter. Okay, now we've got the makings of a door. Let's turn around overhead. Tie to entity. Turn around and turn this into a funk door. Hit apply. Um, for the name, we're just going to call it door. Um, this is going to be somewhat interesting uh, in a minute, what's going to be happening. Um, and uh, everything else looks right. Uh, so we're going to turn around and we'll... Uh, Shift and make two of them. Um, and I think, no, that's interesting that the name didn't carry over. Hmm. So let's go for a name. Here we go, call it door and hit apply. Okay. Uh, right now, the direction of this door is going the right direction. The other door has to change. So let's turn around and change the direction of that door. Okay. Hit apply. <clears throat> now, let's turn around. Let's make a trigger for these doors to open them up. So, once again, we're going to go into our uh, texture browser for a trigger. That way, we don't want to see this trigger. Go into our block tool and then quickly make a trigger area around it. Hit enter. And then we're going to tie the entity. And then we want trigger multiple. There we go. Hit apply. 
delay before reset, change this to zero. We want this to always be active. Hit apply. And now in the outputs, I'm going to turn on hit add, and right off the bat, on end touch all, pick our door. Since both doors have the same name, they'll both be triggered, and they are going to go in opposite directions. And when uh, when that's uh, on end touch all, we want the doors to close. Hit apply. And copy and paste it, and then we're going to switch it from on end start uh, touching all to on start touching all, and we're going to hit change this to open. Hit apply. Now, in previous tutorials, you'll notice that um, we uh, modified the names with the underscore and I symbol. We don't need to do that. The instance entity will change all the names for us. So if we put more doors in the level, they're going to get uh, their names modified via the instance entity. So we don't need to do that for this. Um, for now, I think we have everything that we need. We'll close this out. I just want to verify. Uh, let's look overhead. Our trigger and our doors are centered. Let's side view. Our trigger and our doors are floored correctly. Good enough. So let's select the floor. Let's delete it. We want just this. We don't want anything else. Because now we're going to save this file. Save as. And we're going to save this as a regular map in our regular uh, map source uh, root directory. And uh, you'll note, it, we're just going to use that name that the instance is uh, re referring to. So it's insta underscore door. And you can see I already, once again, I had created this once before just to verify, but we're going to select that. Insta door.vmf, and we're going to hit save. And now I'll overwrite it. Okay. So now we have our door that's going to be referenced by the instance. And now all we have to do is just start using this instance. So let's close this out. How the uh, entities work. So we go in here, we go to the entity tool. And we're going to go over here and we're going to, once again, you choose your prefabs. And then pick your instador. And then go ahead and just click on the floor. And then, like magic, your items should pop up. Now, I've noticed uh, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to unload the map and then reload it. Um, in this particular case, you can see the uh, it's a little bit higher than the ground. Um, I think this is just a case of I probably didn't center up my uh, entity very well. Um, over here, you'll see that these floored out really nice. Um, just a, a sometimes I, I talked before about. Um, you can't change uh, the direction that these uh, doors go in. Um, you can turn around and go in the overhead. And you can um, actually you know, rotate it like this, but the doors aren't going to work right. Well, there is a way of fixing this, um, but once you do this, you, you know, you've pretty much you've lost the instance uh, the, uh, ability here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bring the door in and uh, get rid of the instance entity. And you do this by going up to instancing and you go to collapse. And we're going to collapse selection. If you hit all, it probably is going to do all of them in the room. We don't want to do that. So we'll hit the selection. And um, there we go. And uh, you'll see that the instance is gone. Okay. And the doors are all by themselves. And now we can turn around and we can go in and uh, we could change the direction of the doors if we want. And also, take a look at the names. This is what it did. Is it um, it did a, it did a prefix? It changed the uh, prefix of the name. The the name was door, and it uh, added auto instance number one, and it did this to all of them, uh, to the trigger and everything. Um, and if we go into uh, the actual instance itself, you will have noticed that right here when it says entity name fix up prefix. Um, I guess you could do post fix or none. Um, I'm betting if you hit none, you're going to have a lot of problems with names. Um, prefix seems to be pretty solid, so I, I would recommend sticking with that for now. Um, and there we have it. You can turn around and you can create lots of doors, lots of other things if you want. Um, and sure enough, they will open individually They have because they have their uh, names marked up. 
Anyway, uh, I thank you for watching this tutorial, and um, I hope you come up with some pretty crazy ideas on how to use, how to prefab your instance that references geometry in your normal map file. Anyway, I'm Dragon Hill. This is Hammer Time. Uh, have a good day. Bye. instance that references an in pre oh, for